To all my pesto lovers, this one's for you. Whether you toss it into pasta or spread it over pizza, this broccoli pesto sauce is the perfect way to get extra nutrition and enjoy your favorite Italian dishes. Hey guys, welcome back to this episode where we're gonna create a recipe that's been on the site for a long time, broccoli pesto. It seems a bit unbelievable that you can make pesto out of broccoli, but I'm here to tell you that it's not only delicious, but also nutritious, and for the most part, kid approved. I say for the most part because I still have one kid that won't eat anything green, so I simply add marinara sauce to the bowl, and now it's broccoli pasta that's red. Anyway, this broccoli has simply been steamed, and you can use fresh broccoli or broccoli right out of the freezer, wherever you have around. This is a really creative way to get kids to eat broccoli. I've got broccoli tater tots and even broccoli nugget recipes on this channel, which of course I'm gonna link right below this video. While those are fun to make and eat, they're a bit more labor intensive than this recipe and you can use this any way you'd use regular pesto. Now you're gonna wanna add the broccoli in the bowl of a food processor or in a high speed blender like I'm doing today, whichever one you have. So next you're gonna wanna toss in a handful of fresh basil a garlic clove or two, half a cup of grated Parmesan, a pinch of salt, and close the lid. In a food processor, you'd pulse this at intervals, adding olive oil between pulses until you get a really smooth consistency. In the blender, you're gonna put it on low speed and start pouring in your olive oil and up the speed until you get a smooth consistency. All right, this looks perfect. I want you to check out how it blends with pasta, so let's add some spaghetti into our bowl then top it with some pesto and toss it around. Check it out, it blends perfectly and it looks just like real pesto. Leftovers can be stored in a jar or an airtight container and in the fridge up to a week, or you can just freeze it, easy peasy. Check out the recipes that use pesto in the description box right below this video. And if you love simple and easy ideas like this one, hit that red subscribe button, a new video comes out every single week. See you next time.